put your name on there. Is that all right? Your net, your that should be fine. Names, yeah. Just I think really. we've uh, spilled it a few times on the uh, <laughs> on the show before, accidentally. Um, how are you? Oh, good. Uh, this wine is terrible, but other than that, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't it? Don't talk <laughs> about alcohol today. <laughs> you have a bad night, Simon. Uh, it was a good night. Just a bad, <laughs> no, bad morning after the night. Normally, um, mm. it was. I thought I'll be sensible because you know. It's a nice weekend, a very rare weekend off. I thought I'll be sensible. I had one drink and then that was it. It turned into a couple and then, but it's for a birthday, so it's all good. Yeah, and I'm sticking to water. I can't just have one drink. Yeah, one drink too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the way. All but we're right. recovering. We're okay. Good, good. Okay, so Lara, do you have the summary of Sword Art Online ready to go? <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Only I was so like trying to remember the characters' names. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was reading it again. I was reading it today, get, 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 trying to like cram. Um, trying to cram. Oh, Lara. I actually. Well, I still finished it. From so, my memory of the anime, I was not looking forward to reading it again, but I actually really enjoyed it this time around. Hmm. I thought got the anime started off amazing and then it kind of just got into like this weird romance story that I was, <laughs> I was like, where's all mm -hmm. like the apocalyptic like drama when it just turned into them being married and having a code baby. A code oh, baby? Yeah. They had a little, baby. little date a child, yeah. but it's okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't got that far, but I don't want to read any further. So maybe <laughs> if we do a general... Um, speak the truth right i i don't um i think we were going to do the plot right um in summary is there a summary here i'm on wikipedia and my knowledge oh, wikipedia's a bit like <sighs> just everything i can do so, it off the top of the head summary unless oh, you've got yeah, a written one there please do. yeah you're our guest it, oh, unless you want to matt Cora, i was thinking or... i was looking at the uh <clears throat> kiss manga summary of it i could read that Oh, do yes, that. Please. It's be poorly written, but we'll do it. The only way to escape is to clear the game. Game over means actual death. I don't know why there's extra quotation marks everywhere. The 10,000 who have logged into the <laughs> as-of-yet mysterious game Sword Art Online have been forced into this perilous death game. Protagonist Kirito, one of the many gamers, has greeted this truth. He plays as the solo player in the giant castle that is the stage for this game called Einkrad? I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Yeah, yeah. To meet the condition, I was a bit like, how do I say this? <laughs> uh, the, the city of... <laughs> to meet the conditions of clearing the game, getting through all 100 floors, Kirito fights his way through the quest alone. In summary. So, his wife. what did we all think? Um, so, uh, explain, hold on a second. So, you guys, when did you read it? Have you just finished reading it? Or I have read it over the fair? last two weeks. Because okay. it took me that long to stomach it all. I <laughs> watched the anime when it came out. Um, I read the first light novel a couple of years ago, and then I crammed the hell out of the first eleven chapters, like up to the end of the Ironcrad arc, last night when I got home. So some of it's a little hazy, and today <laughs> I, I read the last chapter. But um, but yeah, so it's fresh of mind. Hmm. I'll see. Relax. I leisurely read it over the two weeks, and it was a lot easier just to kind of skim read some parts that were a bit boring because I had seen the <laughs> anime already. So I think of... that was the first thing that stuck out to me in terms of the, the manga itself. It kind of almost assumed you had uh, pre-existing knowledge of it, of the anime or of the source material with the light novel. Really... I found it skimmed over a lot of things. It really does. I was reading this thinking, this, is, this isn't made for people who have not read this before this is made for people who are already fans in the series and just want to give them more money that's really all this is for because yeah. there's so many things that are glanced over so did it start off yeah. as a novel then not a manga or what did what came first it, it started as a light novel okay and then i want to say it became a manga and then an anime yeah the, i think the anime came about two years after so it was like halfway through the um the adaptation, the manga adaptation, but yeah, it was a, 
It was a novel when he wrote when he was 15 years old. Oh, and I couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Especially the yeah. fairy, the fairy anime season two is like definitely like, uh, like he gets all like, yeah. I'm destroying the bad guy, but I'm so sexy as well. And it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> bit of a Mary Sue kind of vibe. <laughs> just a little, just a little he was. He was like, look how... Look how beautiful I am, especially in the manga they drew him like with the glassy eyed style. Like it was kind of a weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, visually. I mean, they, sometimes well, they drew him in the glassy eyed style. Sometimes the art would just change completely for like three frames and then go back to normal. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't I that impressed. That. <laughs> yeah. The, the, like, the art style itself, it. I wasn't a huge fan of because it made some of the action hard to follow, definitely, um, definitely. particularly in the beginning. I thought that I was really impossible to follow. I thought <laughs> yes. that I was there, just bored. There was the fight with the Minotaur that was just action lines for like two pages. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I didn't <laughs> understand anything. In the anime, that is the best for me personally, because I'm a Shonen fanboy and like that dirty action. Um, <laughs> that was the highlight of the Shonen series, the reveal of the second sword and him like going. And it's a really. Just with the music and everything, that's a really well done scene. So I was looking forward to that in the manga, but it really doesn't translate well uh, panel to panel. Or lack of panel, shall we say, because it's just full pages of random images. <laughs> which is weird. like lines. Like, yeah, I I just, doing I thought, lines. Oh, I don't like action, so it's boring. Like, I didn't think it was bad. Mm. I just assumed that it just wasn't for me. And also I read it on my mobile, so I don't know if I was just kind of just like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. I was trying to read it on my mobile and I couldn't just... I, I was like, I need to, I need a bigger screen for this because I can't focus on it. Yeah, I felt exactly the same. Everything that you've said is exactly how I feel. Mm. I the art was shit. Okay, shit is is a bit strong, but oh, it's, it's pretty. I really, mostly. I found it really, I found it really difficult to read. Although the story was really interesting, I yeah. think they could have gone so much. I don't know, so much more cool and and like thinking about the concept and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I've said it. It's really basic. Mm -hmm. I've said yeah. it on our own show before, but Sword Art Online is a lot of good ideas that are poorly executed. Yeah, yeah we've uh, been known to rag on the show a little bit <laughs> in the past. Um, but no, I will. I think a lot of it stemmed from I really enjoyed the concept. I really enjoyed the uh, the beginning of it, definitely. Um, and then it just sort of wastes that potential. And yeah, the romance is. Uh, like, because it seems we the manga... that that they meet, and then five days later, they decide to get married after murdering a man. Because they, well, they shared a meal. The only one had a red They just want to bang, right? They're like, we can't bang if we're not married in game. <laughs> I will say the manga addressed this because in the anime it was sort of never brought up. But they were like, is it possible to do it? And yeah. then it's like, hmm. <laughs> Are they, no one they ever banged? found out. <laughs> these are all really interesting concepts right now i've because i'm not all the way through it so now i'm thinking oh, i didn't mean to spoil the uh the, the, the little plot twist of no she Kirito doesn't just, she just like she just won't pick it up again she's like don't like it <laughs> i i cannot i i'm glad we're getting to the end of this it's like vampire night as well lex i just we needed to know how it ended because it was mm. so bad that there was no way i was ever going to get to the end but then has it defeated me now Sword Art Alvine hasn't defeated me because I know how it ends. No, because and I, I, thought, I can't believe you thought it was so bad. Like, I honestly, what? obviously what? thought it was like, obviously it's like a shallow boy tale, which is kind of sexist to say, but you know, shonen. It is, yeah. But um, it, it's, but there's still really, really good moments in it that I really liked. Like when he was telling that really like tragic story about when he got all those guys killed, that still hit it for me. <laughs> Like yeah, anime, like, oh! and then even the in the anime, like, oh! that's uh, I think that's the thing because you and I have both we know that, that the there's story. more of a fleshed out story there, yeah. um because that part is one of the best parts because it shows that emotion and that emotional connection and it shows Kirito, it's one of them few moments where he's more than the one dimensional Mary Sue who's yeah. just the badass black swordsman. <laughs> oh, that goes back to poor execution though because I felt like. Oh, we have this little guild. Let's put the tiny little girl who's scared for her life on the front end. Let's make her the defender. <laughs> she, she's she, got this. She was a nightmare. Like, be a support class. 
or something. She's so weak. Oh, I really, that's, that's the main thing that pissed me off so much. Um, no, no, but I liked her because it's like not, it kind of hits home like, oh, not everyone in the, you know, not everyone in the game who got stuck in it were, re were up for the challenge. I don't know yeah. why she's gone with such a hard guild. She could have just become like a shopkeeper or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make yeah. any sense for her to be in that role when she clearly doesn't really want to be in that role. I think in the show, they say like she wasn't really interested in the game, but she just got it because all her friends did. So it's like she wasn't even wanting to be there in the first place. And I, it was a really humanizing moment. Um, but yeah, in the manga, they sort of just go, yeah, it's she was there. Short. She didn't like it. Mm -hmm. you know he was like I... slapped together not in that way if if i knew that about it if in the manga if it said something about her only joining to be with her friends i think i would have given her a little bit more yeah. benefit of the doubt but right now she just seems like a pathetic sort of weak character Girly that's character. only in it yeah, yeah that's like, only in it love interest. let's hold each other <laughs> it's that uh <laughs> a recurring theme with sword art online because that's one of the big complaints of the manga that i had was that asana was kind of in the yeah. in the show and in the story when you she's not just kirito's love interest she was her own character she was really strong yeah. and feared she was a, a like you know she had her own goals and ambitions she was motivated to clear the game and they do touch on it in the manga but it's sort of just yeah that's his girlfriend like they you know shortened the they... uh, interaction compared to the anime with her guilt yeah. a lot mm -hmm. yeah like it was, the story, here she's... Like story, 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 story. Like it wasn't as like fleshed out at all. So I can, yeah, but I, yeah, I guess I can see why you guys kind of hate it now because I've seen the anime. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she, she's a, right. she has a character for about half a chapter in the manga, and then immediately we forget about all that. Like and she's introduced, like oh, she's so cool and she's strong, but yeah. then she gets saved by Kirito five times. Which, yeah. Is it, is it in the manga as well that they meet at the beginning of the game? So no, it didn't show that. No. At all. So in the oh. anime, they met previously. What? IRL in real life? No. Like, at the start the of when everyone's like, "Excuse me, you're all fucked." That bit. Um, when they all find out that they're stuck in the, in the game. <laughs> That's an excellent summary of the yeah. first chapter. Excuse <laughs> yeah. me, you're all fucked. Also, here's twenty pages of exposition. <laughs> I was really sad that Klein, like, the first time I watched it as well, like, it's just like, Klein is such a cool character, they're both having an amazing adventure together, and then suddenly he just, like, fucks off, like, it's just like, yeah! yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'll see you on level 75, bitch, I got my friends now! But yeah, it, that was always the other thing that I thought, I want to see more of what Klein was more getting up to. More of Klein, like, yes! What was he doing? What was Argyle, or Agile, or whatever his name was, the big black guy? That yes. dude, he was cool. He Shop was keep. so cool. Mr. Shopkeep. Why, did they, why didn't they go on a venture together? Why did you make us see them having a relationship for them just to break off and then he meets? Like the author, the teenage author must have been like, what was I, he thinking? I mean, I think that's the problem of he's 15 and I'm 15. I'm a cool owner. I'm going to be the oh, black yeah. swordsman. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that was the thing. That's what like, we are when you're 15. <laughs> I was never the loner. I was. I, uh, in that I was regard, always... Kirito is a believable character. I was constantly seeking a sad dude. He's uh, yeah. There was one moment where he's like his speech bubbles and internal monologue were kind of some. There were some moments where he's like, "Why am I wasting my time with these low-level knights?" It's like, why is he saying that? He's supposed to be a nice guy, and that he's been yeah. being a bit of a douche. <laughs> but I can kick his ass. He's just arrogant. Because it's like inserting why his for. strength. Like, I'm better than them. <laughs> I'm so strong, guys. There's no guild that can hold me back. <laughs> and why. he's wearing the typical, like, Matrix long coat of a loner. <laughs> I am surprised he doesn't have shades on, like some kind of little more <laughs> shades. I can totally see that happening. I, yeah. He must have yeah. restrained himself. How can it start off so good? And then why does it turn into just a romance? I don't understand. I was really disappointed when I watched the anime. Yeah. Their relationship I wouldn't... is really intense. And all they do is just like, they like making food for each other. And it just gets so weird <laughs> at one point. <laughs> Like, I admit, weird. I I did like when we first go to Asuna's house and she's like, oh, I, I should learn how to cook because I'm not a moron. 
Yeah. That was a very nice moment of, yeah, that would make sense. If you were stuck in a game for two years, you should probably put a few points into cooking so you stop eating default bread. <laughs> These are the things that were the interesting parts that sort of get mentioned but never fo- like you know, focused on. Yeah. It's like, yeah, there's a whole merchant guild and that whole, oh, I'm seeking purpose in this simulated world, but you know, I, I do want to escape as well, like with all side characters. And the manga really didn't touch on them, but in terms of the romance, I wouldn't have even minded if it became just a romance like story and that was the main focus, but it's a really superficial romance. It's like yeah, very strange. like Yeah, I don't I guess as a fifteen year old boy you probably didn't have much talent for writing romance. I mean I'll put my hands up. I I'd struggle. Um, <laughs> I'm not great myself, but I, it's like that sort of Star Wars prequel levels of, of romance. It was just the uh, Oh. No, no, no. Let's be fair. Star Wars prequels are <laughs> better romance than this ever did. I'd say, you're talking about that garbage. I would say that was worse. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. It, it's, Understand, I hate I the Star Wars prequels, bad. but still. <laughs> no, this was better than Anakin and Padme. It's got to be. Yeah, there can't definitely. be worse. But, yeah, everything's um, so, soft and smooth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's one of the worst. <laughs> one of the worst. I think it did, it did touch stand. a little bit how you think, should, should you just give up? trying to find yeah run, run away yeah, um, just they, make yourself alive there you know that was the thing with the manga because like you say it compressed their like arc so tightly from first meeting to we're married and we'll cut, die for each other and our love's so strong yeah. say, they, really they brought up lover suicide like three times and it was getting a little <laughs> weird by the end there yeah. so bad it's... let's run away together which was fair enough and they actually do in the in the anime and i know that gets a huge amount of shit because there's like four episodes in the middle of it where they just are in the little cabin in the woods With their code but baby. that actually shows oh. a real like married life so if they'd condensed that a little bit or at least shown some of that you'd under i don't know it's just not very well done the romance for me it doesn't feel real it just feels like oh we're together we're in love yeah I mean, the whole cabin in the woods thing is weird because there's what is it chapter like nine or ten where at the very beginning there's like a page of oh by the way we had a kid Let's get about that. <laughs> that was really I imagine cringe. That was, a shock. that was so cringe for me. I was, I was just like, no, she's like, mama. And he's like, ugh. It's so gorgeous. I mean, I had to double check I didn't skip over a chapter because it were just, <laughs> there was a whole bunch of stuff they just missed. Like, again, this is made explicitly for people who already bought the books. Which was confusing because there was about 16 different versions of this manga, like, sort of online progressive. I did mean to ask mm-hmm. which one you were you were reading because yeah. i was like i don't know which one's which yeah because mm. i've seen the fairy one the season two and then season three seems to be like a spin-off with fairy people which are not them mm-hmm. and fairy then the next people. one seems to be one with like from what's her name asuna asuna's point of view but the same story right. so I don't know. that'd be interesting that was the thing, the fairy one killed it because they just reverted Asana into the damsel in distress. Oh, and I was yeah. like, yeah, she's just, he's rescuing. And, and there's a bit of incest pretty. in there too, which was really upsetting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? What the fuck yeah. is this? A little bit of incest. There's a whole, <laughs> there's a whole thing where Kirito has too many feelings for his sister. <laughs> It's okay. His sister? I like I like the crap attempt to justify it when they go. It's not really his sister. It's his cousin. But it's no, okay. It's, a, it's still not okay. No, it's that's a shit excuse. You know it. Everybody knows it. I am not. I am not. I don't it. care if you're not related by blood. If you live with somebody every single day, you do not know. But they are related yeah. by blood, don't they? A little bit. Still they are enough. cousins still. Are that's cousins? the thing. It's like they're still cousins. It's not right. Oh, it's so Just, sick, dude. <laughs> He already has a girlfriend. Why didn't he just stick with... He, he's, you know, a loner. He's met one. Be lucky he's got one girlfriend, let alone trying to go after another one. Well, that's the problem, because everybody wants to get down on him. Oh, that just... Yeah, that's just the Mary Sue kind of coming out. <laughs> like, his ugly head rearing and, like, can't help Although himself. Manga, in this manga, you don't even see the other two. There's another two girls who are... One of them's Asuna's best friend. One of them's, like, a little Moe lowly character who, thankfully, mm-hmm. isn't in there. She's really annoying. Yeah. <clears throat> really annoying um but yeah you don't even see them they're not even introduced it's like a short a bit of a sh- version it's like the opposite like the anime f- seems to have fleshed it out a lot and the manga's just like the I don't know, usually it's the other way version. around with manga and anime isn't it usually like they have a longer 
more drawn out story in the actual writing and yeah. the anime kind of like draws it out and dilutes it. Same um, that I I'm thought not... um, Vampire Night was very boring in the manga and easier. It's easy to digest in the anime. Yeah, I did prefer the anime and Vampire Night. <sighs> Infinitely. Did you watch the dub? I think I did. Kind of I watched the first uh, <laughs> How many episodes? I think I got about nine episodes into it. I, I think. I'm sorry, I think that's about how far I got into Vampire Night as well. I watched all I like of it. The, the end is. Why are you like hurting yourself like fun. this? <laughs> what happens at the end? Which it's, one does she choose? Um, uh, um, the the vampire is her brother. Oh. And, and the guy he gets. He gets his curse lifted and he's not a vampire anymore and he's just like, I'm a hunter. And then, oh yeah, and then she's a vampire. She's the guy's vampire sister. So it gets yep. really convoluted and like, uh. really boring <laughs> towards the end. It's uh. like, like, you know, like, it's a slog. The last two episodes, you're like, what's happening? It was just extra. Everything about it was just unnecessary and lame. Oh, it was just, in my, we need in another my... twist. Here's another twist. <laughs> What about this? Yeah. What about this? With what all the were... extra characters from the night school, it's like, I don't give a fuck about them. Like, mm. I don't care about them at all. They're so boring. Yeah. Oh, Speaking of boring, Sword Art Online's manga. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I enjoyed it. I have to admit, I did enjoy reading it. But it was more of like, it... a, oh, I remember that happened in the anime. Yeah. That was good. I'm... I'm trying because I was trying to read it from the perspective of someone who's never seen the the source material, and it was really hard because they just didn't make it easy. But it's given me a newfound appreciation of the anime. I must say, the anime does things a lot better than the manga does. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I think the manga is the worst possible version of Sword Art Online. I haven't read the light novels. I've only seen the first season of the anime. But if you're going to get into it, if you have to, because somebody's holding a gun to your head potentially. <laughs> Watch the anime. Okay, you Lara, should watch where it. did you stop reading? So I, the last thing I read was, um, so he has just lost to the big her guild oh, like master. Yeah. And he's got like a special mm. plan, and um, there's that weedy weird guy who poisons them all with like par paralysis oh, potion. You paralysis just nearly thing. got to the end. Yeah, well, I've got to my end. Like that's <laughs> enough. Now. Like it's time. Like three more chapters <laughs> to go. That's that's the best bit. That's when they. You uh, must have just run out of time. Did you just run out of time? That's when they. The thing is, I was trying. Love. I was trying to like skim read as well because I was sick of it. So I was just trying to get through it quicker so that I could just get to the end. Um, but then I got so lost because the artwork is so like scribbled and mm -hmm. I don't know, just uh, very difficult. And maybe I was what uh, because I was doing it on my phone as well, reading on my phone. I had to go back. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> like read it in more detail because I just didn't understand what's going on. Um, but you know, uh, that's enough. That's, that's enough. That's a shame. Yeah. Uh, it is. It, um, yeah. I feel like a loser <laughs> for liking it. <laughs> no, um, like uh. I say, you it's a hard manga to follow if you haven't seen the rest of it. Yeah. Um, and like I say, the animation does a lot a lot better job of telling that story um, it, than the, the manga did. The anime is at least interesting visually to watch if you're into that kind of thing. Just right. a lot more story as well. Um, mm -hmm. Even though, like, I'm not a huge fan of the story, I'm not a huge fan of the character development in terms of Kirito, and they drop what all character Asuna. development. Well, <laughs> there is some like episode, yeah. as we were saying, when the um, the Black Cat Guild or Moon, whatever they were called, the original ones, and yeah. Sachi and Co. When they die, um, that sort of reaffirms that he definitely wants to be a loner. Um, yeah, he is a loner, and it's kind of a they all kill yeah, themselves. like it's, well. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a, it's a good bit, like he actually shows some emotion, yeah, but then the rest of the time it's just that, when blank I watched face. That in anime, I was like, that is dark. Like I was totally mm -hmm. into it. Like that have was guys, really good. Have you guys watched the live action series? There's a live action I, series. Yeah, there's a live action. No, oh, yeah. apparently I would not like to see there. that kid though. That'd be like I need to see it. <laughs> oh, is it a Netflix uh, adaptation? Is, is there a trailer I can watch? I want to see this. Well, live it's, a, it's an American live action. What, is it a popular in America? Like, where has this come from? Why is this suddenly a thing? It's big My in the West. 
I saw um, it on, when I used to live in Japan. I saw it with Heaven Hulu, and it was on Hulu on there. Oh. Okay, this was ago. obviously. And, like, I've got I've a fan of the loop. I've been out of the loop until recently. <laughs> I mean, they're playing it in London, aren't they? They're playing it at the Prince Charles Theatre. Um, so I figured that it was uh, maybe it's making a comeback, or I don't know. It's just suddenly yeah, it's the big film. Thing. The film's done big business, apparently, um, from the figures and that. But it is a really recognisable franchise. Um, so you do see it around. Uh, I mean, I'm it's just on Netflix, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. Maybe that's why people have seen it. Maybe that's. I mean, it's, it's um. It's readily available. Yeah, and it's a you know, think how many teenage boys you're gonna be watching that. <laughs> yeah, I guess that I was gonna say the demographic here is a twelve <laughs> to seventeen year old boy. Um, mm. I think they'd really enjoy it. Um, boy if you're story. Into games, <laughs> that should be this the is not post a boy story. <laughs> this is not a series that was meant to be considered or thought about at all. <laughs> You were exposed to accept what happened and move directly on to the next point. There gets to be some, <laughs> like, uh, I'm sure there's, like, this weird killer who, I know we're jumping ahead a little bit, but mm. in the Gun Gale one, there's, like, a killer who works with others, who injects people with lethal poisons while they're in the game. It's really weird. In like, it's so one. confusing. See, that's uh, the, wrong. Is the, gun the death Gale game online? part of it gets more and more convoluted as you go on. Yeah. Because it's the fact that the helmets electrify their brains in an instant. But okay. okay. I'll, I'll deal with that. But then it becomes like, no, this person's actually killing people in real life. The better question is, why did they go back into the helmet life-stealing game anyways? <laughs> it's already went bad very badly once. They... Wait, so they left and then went back in? So they, well, so they go into... All the games use the same like stupid helmet setup, and they keep going into different games. <laughs> It's playing um, the game. Yes, yeah, spoilers. And they keep turning into death games, and they keep going in. And the only way Wait, to win the... is to be the best at the video games. Wait, are we talking Kirito about the saves one? the day. Hmm? And then the fairy one is the next one. And Somebody he goes actually. The shit out of the guy at the end, and it, that got a bit too much for me. And he... Yeah, there's um a bit really of a weird cringe. assistant who makes makes he worked for the same company, and he's he's like an assistant, and then he takes the technology and makes another game but he's like it's okay this one won't kill you it's yeah, fine. everyone happily plays um, <laughs> even though he... it's so lame because yeah. it's like all fairy people and i'm just like this is not cool like why a fairy game no offense to it's literally for the sole purpose of introducing flight into it they're like oh you can fly guys look you can fly i did not like mm -hmm. any and there's of like... the characters in that one it was just like make they were all stop. but my partner yeah. really wanted to watch it <laughs> Season I mean, 2 it. is better. What? Is it? No. After the fairies, that's no. better because it introduces a character who plays a gun game who's terrified of guns in real life because she was in the middle like she was a hostage in a in a bank robbery and like she has this real fear but it shows like real emotion and she's going into this game to try and get over her fear of guns. Oh shit. Um, and then it also delves into when Kirito and everyone decided to murder the fuck out of the player killers in Aincrad. Like, there's a flashback, and it's like, oh yeah, no, by the way, we killed about 200 people as well. So that was some bad shit. That is like, why that. didn't you show that? <laughs> we're, we're watching a group of murderers and calling them heroes. That's well, that true. was the thing, because it's like, it should have really I mean, been delved into. Anti, but... Hmm. Yeah, it, that would have been really interesting because it's like, mm, well, you know, we did. It would have been interesting if they had like a conflict about it, <laughs> but they didn't. They were just like, nope, we murdered people. Oh well. Next level. Fifteen-year-old boys. Fifteen-year-old boys don't have time for conflict. Let's be honest. <laughs> That's what these internet games are about, though, isn't it? Really, just fifteen-year-old boys going around killing people. Um, I guess. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the dream come to life. I mean, all these sound like really good. Um, concepts. This is this is why it's a bit like Beginning when you're just saying that she's trying amazing. to get over the PTSD. That's like, really cool. I was ready for them to like have to work out like who's in charge, like where do you get food. Like I, I thought mm -hmm. it'd be much more interesting if you actually it was more like a Walking Dead sort of thing rather than just like a survival time. Two years later. Yeah, that's what I thought it was going to be. 
Yeah. This this whole series would be far more interesting if we concentrated not on the people trying to clear the game, but just the people trying to survive the game. <laughs> yeah, why, why is that more interesting? It really is. I would I be to that see, like, chick. Farmer. I would be that chick. Because then we'd have like... Guys. I'd be like, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> why am I here? Yeah. So we'd have actual like human struggle and emotion and stuff, and not just, you know, murder people. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> Like there's um in the in the anime when they glossed over in the manga the whole Yui bit like the the kid that they had in yeah. the anime they find a like a nursery the small children in the game and that's like really? at some point they must have had to have been like rounded up and helped and like you know stored away in a safe place like in someone, one of the cities. But what? I mean, and it's like do, that would be interesting. Do they not exist outside of the? So they're a code baby. What happens? Like, oh, the code baby. Yeah. They're a program um, that went rogue because of all the tragedy. Oh, she's, of... A, oh. she's a counsellor for people oh, in that's the game. Um, so she was, uh, she was, she was like, supposed to be, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I'm trying to get Had around it. Yeah, but she, when the guy like made the game all fucked up, he deactivated her. But then love was so strong. That she appeared. You gravitated right. towards them because out of Guys. all the 10,000 people. Oh. I'm out. I'm speaking, I don't care speaking of bullshit like that, can we talk about the very end where Kirito just dies and then wills himself back to life? <laughs> That's what. Okay, I will defend it on this because. Okay. It's a shonen esque story, and yeah. you don't expect care. They're shit. set up with actual rules. We are following literal computer logic. That should not be possible. Well, I did same that. bullshit I'm with the Suna. I was like reading it like, oh, is he dead or not dead? Is she dead? <laughs> she she was say, paralyzed. If this happens at the end, the bit I've just read, like chapter six, or whatever, that's also happening right now. Like he's being stabbed continuously by this guy, and he's like. Why are you not dying? And she and he says, "I can't die. I can't leave her on her own." And so he's not dying, which, you, like you said, is the most shonen thing of all time. That that yeah. is like the archetype thing. I'll so, okay. the problem though, because they're it's just in that scene, like they're working with like health bars and shit like that, which makes sense in a video game rule where you can get stabbed mm -hmm. through the chest and it's fine because you still have you know two thousand HP or whatever. <laughs> but at the end, it doesn't make any sense because he does go to. Zero health, and then just comes back because of love. <laughs> Use the phoenix down. It's okay. And, and then I'm they're sitting. watching. I didn't understand why they were the only ones who were like watching the world crumble. So that kind of, for me, I was like, oh, they're just gonna die, and it's gonna be like a really crazy ending. But yeah, that's what I What's thought. It? If it ended that way, I was like, that's an impactful ending. Like there's yeah. one in, in the anime, he breaks down crying, like saying yes. he's sorry. He save her he's and it's like, all, like epic good. and then he's like no then he's real and he's like oh i'm scared <laughs> it's amazing yeah it's like kai um the is it kayaba the guy who made the game he just invited them to watch the world like to get destroyed and just yeah. talk about he's like why did you do it i just one, when I was a kid, I always dreamed about a castle in the sky. That still doesn't explain how you murdered people. Because <laughs> like, they're like, why do you do it? And he's like, I have literally forgotten. <laughs> when I was a what? child, I wanted to be a pro wrestler. Um, <laughs> I haven't, maybe that's where I'm going wrong. I haven't murdered people enough yet to achieve my dream. That's the takeaway <laughs> from this. You need to murder, let's, just let me be honest, murder more ugly people, because that's what the real takeaway from Sword Art Online was. If you're ugly, you should die. Because they make everyone look like they do in real life, and then they murder them. Oh yeah. yeah. There was no. Was like no at the very beginning, there's the two old ladies freaking out, who used to be like hot <laughs> girls in an earlier good. panel, and then they become old ladies, and then we see them dying later because they're ugly. Every ugly person dies. You can't That's argue with this. anime. It's like, are you? Are you if you're ugly, you're not a main character. It's like in the school <laughs> setting, line. it's like, it's like, where's the where's the blue haired people? I've been, oh, you're I've indistinct in most anime. Yeah. Lord already goes out of its way to make people ugly. But I feel like the ending was more like typical of like when you watch like a Japanese movie. It's just like it's like Battle Royale. It's like, wait, no, this guy? But what? But they're alive? Like it was it, for me, it's yeah, like a typical Japanese either. ending. It just doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was sort of the I'm back from the dead for love. 
I also <laughs> loved how they were trying to make it look all cool. And then in the final showdown, he goes, I'll duel you one on one on one condition. You make it impossible for Asana to commit suicide if I lose. What's kind of no. that? Anyway? I mean, that's so that weird. Was, She's I was so kind of okay like, with that. Come on, let me. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's sort of like another human moment. But again, stop trying to commit suicide. Jesus Christ, you've exactly. been talked out of it like five times already. It devalues her life. To me, that just means well, she's literally just like, if Kirito's not around, then Asuna's not going to be. And it's like, well, it's too no, intense. she's a human. It's too like, intense. She, has own... she goes straight from I'm my own badass person to I am a doll for your affections within like three months of life. I guess that's time. the 15, again, the 15 year old kind of author style of yeah. that's how girls feel. They really care about love and stuff, I guess. This girl's going to love me so much because I'm so good at this <laughs> video game. Yeah. I Check still... out my two songs. <laughs> I used to love, I still do, but I don't really remember to, but um, read self insertion fanfics. It's like one of my past like hobbies. Like, I just love them. They're so oh, good. <laughs> I love bad fanfics. It's like my thing. <laughs> I love bad fanfiction. The weirder the better is, is, is great. It always, um, I'm always conflicted whether I like, you know, and then you realize, oh, it's because they can't really speak English, and you're like, oh. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's I like. It was bad. I just, I prefer bad ideas rather than like it being ba uh, just bad. But I do also love the ones that are all in caps. I don't think you get much like that. As, as days, it turns though. out, it was translated from Swahili, and it makes no sense because. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I imagine, because um, that's what I imagine this must have started, like, self-insertion yeah. from another story, that he wanted to be a cool guy. Sort of like Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, yeah. exactly. Well, less BDSM and sort of online. Less BDSM, honestly, but very still very much, MMO. this is my self-insert fanfiction. Oh, wait, you want to pay me money for it? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. So guys, what are you reading that or watching that's any good? <laughs> um, as compared to Sword Art Online, basically everything. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna say that. that. <laughs> In terms of reading, aside yeah. from your normal like Attack on Titan, Fairy Tale, like, I still keep up with them week to week. I'm still trying to plow through Seraph at the end. Like, I keep trying, I keep picking it up, reading the chapter, putting it down again. But I'm going to get there, hopefully. Oh. What about you, Matt? What are you reading right now? Uh, honestly, the only thing I'm actually reading right now is Black Clover. Oh, which God, is, yeah, Black Clover, too. Which is okay, but it suffers very much from, oh, the protagonist is great at everything. It's like, very much, again, all the secondary characters are a lot more interesting. But it still has a few moments of actually being good that I'm okay with it. But it's still kind of just in the background. Watching stuff is more interesting. It's that yeah. sort of Naruto-esque character who it's like, he's an idiot, but he's also hyper-competent when he needs to be. I was like, he's just like, he's, if you haven't read Black Clover, Black Clover is about a, like a universe where everyone does magic except for this one guy who has absolutely zero magic. So instead Ooh. he just got really buff and punches everybody instead. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody can deal with it because they're used to dealing with magic. Oh wow, that yeah. sounds like a RP that I did. I I really don't like magic. So you just yeah. got buff and punch people. Yeah, That's, yeah. It's whenever I RP, I'm always like, no, you, Lexo, you have to be the person who heals everyone. I'm like, but I didn't really want to <laughs> kick them. <laughs> really I just want to punch people. <laughs> it's like a, I just want to get really buff. A really buff medic. Yeah. Like Mike Tyson, but with medical training. I think that <laughs> oh, works yeah, the work. <laughs> Try and heal them, and if it doesn't work, just punch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's got a dislocated no? shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> it's back in Give place. yourself magic punching, so that the more you punch, the more you heal. Yes! Like that. That's a really so interesting backwards. concept for a. Yeah, for a I'm gonna character. punch you back to life. It's like, <laughs> it's like shocking somebody, but with your fist. <laughs> I really want to see a short story about that. The man who punches people back to health. One shot, Lara Jorah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's like them sort of um, televangelists, you know, the ones when they're like really feeling the power of God, and it's like, and they yes! just hit them, heal them. That could be it. Oh 
What are you reading? They're my favourite. Uh, I just finished Solonin, didn't I? Yes. So we just did our last po podcast on Solonin, which is mm. really good. I thought we didn't actually talk about that. it that much. That's what I think about Brilliant. It. It's really good. Um, but no, that's it. I think I, I was getting through Sword Art Online. We're, we're, what are we reading next, Lex, with the Mang Forum? You were listening um, to 21st Century Boys. Yeah, I did. That's one of them I wanted to do. Uh, have you guys read that, 20, uh, 20th Century Boys? No, Lara's I have really not. Lara's really, like, really um, intellectual level manga and you in comics me yeah uh, well i really I want to read it's... trash because it's like fun to talk about <laughs> and fun to read yeah. <laughs> i do like the trash as well don't get me wrong i like trash like i think but, i yeah. literally saw one that was like oh my vampire boy like i want to read that <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, at the moment we have a little competition to try and find the uh, the longest and most absurd light novel titles that we can oh, find yeah. um, because really I just amazing. love them. As I say, I either like really good things or really trashy crap things. There's no middle ground. If you're just an okay average show, then it's nah, not yeah, worth what talking was, about. What was the longest title we found recently? It's uh, was it like I've dated so many girls I've caused the zombie apocalypse or something no. like that. <laughs> was it? it was, yeah, I think it was that one actually. There was another one that was really long. It was the guy who was the, there was a dude who was walking around Japan like with it just posters attached to him, stapled to him, and like a little hat fashioned out of a giant poster of the cover of his light novel to promote it. Yeah. Um, I don't think it went too well for him, but. I, my favourite part was that he just read his own work on the subway. I was like, yeah, you go, guy. You keep that, you keep that going. Well, like, out yeah. loud? Or oh, just, like, I, I just found a list of light novels by length of title. Okay, yep. <laughs> Number one, I'm a successful light novel author at a boys' high school, but I'm being strangled by a female classmate who's a voice actress and is younger than me. <laughs> I think someone needs I to I was reincarnated as an evil god and my subordinate demon army is on the verge of collapsing. What should I do? <laughs> I think... I guess, I guess in Japan, maybe they don't get the lesson that the synopsis doesn't have to... Like, there is a synopsis. You can make a blurb on a book. The title doesn't <laughs> yeah. have to give you exactly what you need to know. I, I didn't know this was a thing, and now it's my favourite thing. Like, <laughs> this is great. Because we, we, it's like the occasional light novel gets turned into an anime, so when we do season previews, we'll look, and I'll be like, I can't pronounce this. Let's see what it translates what? to. And it's just okay. incredibly long... And it's like, you will just call it its first name. I don't understand, like, I don't, what is a light novel? I, I mean, funny. it's just like a novel, basically, oh, but, but a anime. But anime. Oh, so like, yeah. it came from a novel. But it's like, it yeah. A like a short story? I mean, they're generally, like, not as... I mean, this goes back to, like, when novels were, like, Frankenstein, and they're, like, this thick and super dense and tiny writing. Is this just Japanese? It's just a Japanese term. Yeah, really. it's okay. like, because we have like novellas, which are like less than 100 pages or something. Um, generally just, like I say, a novel that's not quite as big as like a Harry Potter or a Lord of the Rings style book. Well, I mean, it, it all Japanese? came out of like pulp magazines, like a lot of novellas did, right? Mm. It's just, it's a, it's not a, it's a book. It's not a big, big but it's a book. Interesting. It's a book. Sometimes they have art in it. I wonder... But, what it is in Japanese. Sorry, you guys continue. Okay. <laughs> we were just saying, that, speaking of season previews, the uh, spring season has just started, so we're just getting into that to try and find if there's any good shows coming out. Um, oh, Attack yeah. on Titan. I did watch the first episode of Attack on Titan this morning, and I managed to avoid all spoilers for the last four years, so holy shit. <laughs> is that going to be episode? only ah. 12 episodes long? It is. Yeah. Is it just only 12? 12? Yeah. Just was the 12. last season only 12 as well? That was 26 yeah, or was 25. Long. Last episode. I mean, so far things are happening a lot quicker than they ever did in the first season, so that's good. Yeah, I think they, they're they just going to have to condense it. Apparently it was something to do with, like, staff shortages. Which yeah, is they had too much quick. on. <laughs> which is yeah. weird because it's, like, such a huge title. You think they put that more shit. resources into it. Exactly. That's your moneymaker, that one. So it's weird that <laughs> I mean, they... It's nice, though, because it does have a lot of polish in the animation. Yeah. Which, over the last couple seasons, I haven't had a lot of. 
Yeah. Like, yeah, the last couple true, things I've been watching was Twin Star Exorcist, which had no budget, as far as I can tell. That wrapped up. No wonky, uh, wonky eyes or sketchiness. No. Like Sailor Moon I mean, Crystal. Yeah, we won't get the animation levels of Onaragaru back, unfortunately, but, you know, we can live in hope. I still haven't finished Gabriel Dropout. Gabriel. That Gabriel was a good Dropout. one, apparently. That was a really good one. It's really funny. Season. It's really funny. If you like Azumanga, you'd definitely like it, mm. I would say. I liked uh, our Slice of Life expert as Manimal. He's not here. Um, we, we like Slice of Life. Yeah, I mean, I love a big slice, slice of life. life. Yeah, yeah, so Solonin, it was like hit the nail, it hit all the points for me. Uh, Speaking slice of life. I know this is off topic, but that's kind of what we do. But I realized when we it added kind um, of our thing. on Skype, um, I realized that my name is still Manimal's dad thinks I'm <laughs> yeah. okay. And just realized how confusing <laughs> yeah. that would be to someone who didn't would... know. <laughs> So who's Manimal, the English one or the American one? He's a Canadian one. He's Canadian. Is he the guy writing secret. in an otome? Uh, uh, let's, let's say that to what? me. <laughs> is he, he's the Canadian he... guy, he's in secret. Was he no one knows who he is. Very oh, deep voice Canadian who plays the guitar. He oh, didn't no, come to London. He wasn't at the convention, no. Okay. Um, no. The people I... at the convention was, of course, Simon, myself, my roommate Brian, and Josh, who is not here. Josh. Yeah, He's never here anymore. Brian. The tall Brian, ginger. Brian should have been here, but um, I'm as late standing because he's off being the Easter Bunny today. I was going to say. Yeah. Oh, he was the Easter Bunny. Is he the Easter Bunny today too? I don't know. I should have asked. He said him. he was. He says I'm off being. Well, Easter. he was the Easter Bunny yesterday. He works at like a giant. I don't know if I can really draw a comparison to something having London. It's like Argos. Imagine a bigger. football field that's <laughs> well, like, filled with furniture guy. and it's two levels tall. That's what oh. he does. He's, a, he's in. He's in marketing. And he's which the Easter he's still, Bunny. Well, he's in yeah, marketing, see, so he realize. does all the special events for the mega store, basically. When when he said that, he didn't say it was at all for work, for work purposes. <laughs> so I just assumed he was doing it for like the neighborhood, or no. he just <laughs> does it every weekend. Did. But fine, he is being tough. paid for this. It's not just something he does. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a weird work. It's a hobby. Everyone's got to have them, you know. <laughs> I've got no time for fairies. Too greedy. I uh yeah. It's, I, I will remain respectfully, um, it's not for me, not my cup of tea. Um, <laughs> respectfully? But, yeah. I'm like, no. <laughs> if, if it's what your thing is, go ahead, I just, I just don't understand it. <laughs> yeah. I'd try it once, I think. <laughs> <Why not? laughs> try it once. What animal would you do? Never done it before, can't judge. It's a, it's a gateway to whole different things. Like, I never knew of the thing called agekin, where you believe that you're no, no, that's just pedophilia wrapped up no, in no. another. Way. <laughs> yeah, wait, where you believe you're centuries old. Um, that, okay, that's not. different. If you think you're like centuries old, but generally that's just pedophilia wrapped up in something different. I wasn't going down that road, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, because it's like people believe that they're older than like their parents, which is surely a contradiction. But I don't know. What, like you, have, is it like you? So it's I like mean, my dad's only like fifty. Yeah. Say, there is that reincarnation aspect of it you could go with I if spoke, you're like man. religious but you know if anyone is age can please tweet uh the manga forum because these they they want to know all about <laughs> no, it we don't. <laughs> that's where stories um, of that I'm I'm sure. tweet at no. manga happy hour what your true age is <laughs> what you feel like your true age is we're open to any any demographic, right? The age kin, the furries. We're not just going on here. Yeah. So are you if you are a furry, tweet to, a picture, um, you will win something. Are you guys going to sure. MCM? Are well, you probably not? Are you? Like... I am. I am probably not <laughs> leaving the country for yeah. a while. <laughs> That's Manchester Comic Con. That one. Um, I am not unfortunately because I have used most holidays for my work side. Um, for the end of the year and the beginning of this year. So. We're, yeah, I, we're not doing well for MCM either. We've got the Friday because Lara's doing a Hindi. I forgot, I double booked myself. Yeah. Oh. I yeah. really want to cosplay as the Russian Yuri from Yuri on Ice because I think that's quite easy. Oh, yeah. I've j you just have to buy a jacket. I'm up for that. Because <laughs> I saw two girls do it at the London and London Anime one and they looked so good. Like, there was so. 
Ooh, really I mean, that's cool basically cosplay. how my LGC cosplay went together. I bought a hoodie and threw it on, and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you were wearing you look it. You good. People were pointing at you, and I was like, fuck, what's going on? How do you know people in London? This is a lie. <laughs> 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 like, where's this coming from? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Lex and I were going to Alcon as well, right? Lex, we're doing a panel yes. there. Oh, and, really? I'm an eager to yeah, I'm like, and... let me on it. <laughs> when are you going to let me on it? Cosplay. <laughs> yeah. God. We want to cosplay. We want to cosplay. I want to cosplay as the the, wash, the the worker women from Princess Mononoke. You know, yeah. with like the turban yeah. hats and just the weird yeah. boobs out. Over... Oh, boobs, boobs out, out yeah. basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I won't have my boobs out. <laughs> <laughs> like super relaxed. Can you imagine? I like the idea of the like towel on your head, you know? That's yeah. the super I don't have to do my hair, out. I just wear my knees. <laughs> Both of us in the band with some boobs out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there was some cool I think there was like a little princess Mononoke um cosplay there. There, there was yeah. one that was like it was like a little toddler doing it. I remember it was adorable oh, yeah. and disturbing kind of at the same time if you remember yeah, Princess she did Mononoke have, like, correctly, but she had like the blood makeup on her on her mouth and i was like oh cool but at the same that time you know so cool. that kid didn't know what was going on let's be honest I feel so bad it was jam donut that dragged around because i've got a little boy. yeah it, it's just so horrible for them i don't i don't judge people that bring them because obviously look after them but it must be so scary because even though i find it a bit like it's so crowded and loud yeah like we didn't spend long there to be honest we were always out the well. refugee vibe but at every convention it's like let's just sit on the floor and eat like i hate that it, oh yeah it's like, yeah, get the fuck out of the way. I want to walk through here. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, and it's I like, mean, we I we probably like... spent maybe two hours at a time maximum. Then we'd pop out to a different pub or get yeah. food or whatever. That's because we yeah. and we'd go we're back. And... Ups. <laughs> Whereas they probably like... just got a ten of the other day. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the uh, the sort of. I appreciate cosplay, but when you try to become that character and then force it on others, like if it was Deadpool set me off. Oh, Deadpool, did, you, did you watch the cosplay auction? <laughs> yeah, like I don't mind it on the on stage. If you're doing it as a performance, that's fine. But if you're just coming up to people going, "Hey, I'm Deadpool! Wow, aren't I wacky?" It's like get oh, the fuck off, cringe. dude. There was that Spider-Man <laughs> or was that bit. Deadpool guy in in your when we were walking into your talk, and he was just at the door, uh -huh. and I was just like, "What the?" I was like, oh, leave, leave. <laughs> leave. So, so Disney one, you're like, don't look at me, stuffed animal, man. <laughs> it was at MCM last year, and they had like nine Deadpools, and they were all really drunk and dancing to some something outside, and it just looked, it's that moment where you kind of see like only here. Only at yeah. MCM is this <laughs> a thing. The lamest yeah. thing I saw at MCM last year was like obviously people had met from like the internet and they just like so awkward but they were all like getting their drink on and they just had all star playing like on a boombox. Like, <laughs> that's my dream, <laughs> Lex, to meet people from the internet and hey, dance uh, to like a yeah. boombox. You, you joke that, about it, but that's what we, when were we went to London. That's how we met Simon here. Is yeah. we were staying in the same hotel. We ended up on the same floor, Brian and I. So we walked over to his room, knocked on. He came out, and he's wearing like, you know, Cookie Monster okay. uh, socks and no shoes, <gasps> and got like this. Hey, it's been a long walk. Video, it's it. like videos from, you know, wrestling. But he walks out and he hugs us, and then the door just slams behind him, and he doesn't have his <laughs> card. Oh shit! So that's how we broke the ice because we never met before this, and you know, we just met on the internet. Oh yeah, it turns out he's cool. not creepy. Thank God. Turns out that I was who I who I said I was. Mm. Yeah, it was weird <laughs> because it was like it was weird because it wasn't as weird. Mm. If that makes sense, because we we're like, oh, this is just cool. Because really nowadays, you know, we have this you know voice video chat on Skype and all that. There's no excuse for not knowing who somebody is. I know. You know, check their Facebook, right? I know. Check your Facebook. <laughs> check, check, check your seriously, Facebook. <laughs> everyone, everyone's on the internet nowadays. If you're meeting somebody from the internet, there's no excuse to not know exactly who that person is I nowadays. Guess. But the program it's is not, so It's good. not 1995. <laughs> People get around it so like they just believe what they need to believe. Lex, yes, you can't. Lex, you, you can get around it, but it takes a lot of effort. On do, one end though. to ignore it. They do. It. They make up like car crashes and like. Let's I've seen catfish. There's still, there's no I've excuse. Seen, you can still I find am out. In a catfish Willing ignorance. Right I love that show. I'm obsessed. 
I okay, so I used to go on a Tenchi Muyo fan fiction website forum, and I met a few people from there, and they actually all turned out quite cool. Mm -hmm. There was no, no, nothing weird. There was one guy that was like the weird gun, gun army American guy. No, like taking pictures with it with his guns. Like, and we met Check me, my friend met him, and we were just it was so awkward because it's just like. Uh, I, I apologize. Uh, wait, was he actually an American or was he just He's acting American. like an American? He's, he was an okay. American, yeah. I apologize for him. <laughs> we're not all we're not <laughs> all crazy, contrary to what the news might tell you. Yeah. You're okay, you two. Yeah, so we met, I've met a few of them. Um, and that, yeah, that all actually turned out all right. But our group of friends all like, kind of like, uh, we're not really friends anymore because they kept going out with each other, the Americans, and then breaking up. And ruined the oh, yeah. Never, ever, no, that's not a good, don't date within your friend group. If you don't. Yeah. You know, this is actually. what he told me on the on, on the night after a drunken <laughs> night in London. He was telling me he would, but he couldn't. And I was like, never again will get that chance. Never again. But it's okay. Don't get carried away. You've got to remain friends. <laughs> me and Laura have been friends poetry. since school. Since really? Like secondary really? school, yeah. Since we were yeah, we, we, we Pokemon fans. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I understand that. There's a few people I know basically because of Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon's yeah. where it all started. Good, good Let's be friends. honest. For yeah. Our, for our generation, at least. I mean, mm -hmm. the big thing, uh, the big reason I, well, the only, because I never used forums <laughs> before, and the only reason I used the one where I met Matt and everyone is purely because my social circle, no one likes anime. Like, no really? one cares about anime. Um, so it was like, I, I kind of want to talk about it now with people, so that's how I ended up on there. Interesting. Um, just cool. So who runs that website? Your, um, your website? Not your website. Is it your website? Yeah, it's not ours, actually. Which I am, I've been on there since, God, forever. Like, you think about internet forums, nobody stays around, but I've been on there since 2008. Uh, so I joined when I was 16, I had a story of... Basically, I was out of anime completely, and then I got back into it by watching some shows I was nostalgic for, like Dragon Ball Z, Gundam Wing, Rony Kenshin. And I got on there, I wrote a little story, and I thought, I, I want to show this around, and then that was 2008, and I've been stuck there ever fucking since. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. well, they put, they made me a mod, and it's kind of hard to leave when you have responsibilities, so... <laughs> I started posting on there, and then I got really sad because I couldn't share my fan fiction because it says like, don't share links. I was like, oh, <laughs> and then, like, I can't put believe it I've lost, I've lost them. Again. They're on the internet, and I can't copy them. Oh, oh, no. I didn't even know that was a thing. That's how long it's, it's been. Again, like... Yeah, but uh, the forum itself was started by two people in two thousand seven. One is a French woman, and the other one is a guy from Sri Lanka, so completely diverged wow. from that. So the but website is mangaraders.com, and it's yep, for people aspiring and, well, not aspiring, because people are writing, writers and... Writers and artists and just fans in general. Basically, we're just an old-fashioned forum, you know, we're here to talk and discuss and chill out and relax, and, yeah. and who it's not really the, a forum um, for anime? a post. Who does the anime reviews on the regs? Uh, that's Manimal. Manimal that is. does. That's who is Manimal. also on our podcast. Yeah. Oh. He uh, he tends to do most of the anime reviews now because the site's gotten a little quiet because a lot of us have sort of stopped doing as much as we used to because of just mm. life in general. And mm. I mean, to be fair, a lot of my activity on that result revolves around doing the podcast because that takes several hours over the week. Yeah. You have to record, do any research, edit, upload all that stuff. So I as you, as you will, well. So bad. It's, no, it's sort of idols. transitioning onto a new generation, as it does from year to year. Yeah. It's true. Still, I mean, we're still learning, aren't we, Lex? Like, about all this podcast stuff, like, tech-wise. It's so hard. Like, I just, I, I did edit a little bit. I'm always really excited to get it uploaded, though. And I don't Yeah. Want so I'm like, boom, and I forget. <laughs> and then I, I did edit a little bit from the beginning of the YouTube video yesterday. That was good. Yeah. I started doing thumbnails. Yeah, I was impressed enough with the thumbnails. <laughs> That's how basic I am. And that was because like, my partner went out 
for a night and you know I had time to myself to like actually sit at the laptop and do things <sighs> yeah to investigate life, life of a mother. that's good life it's... always gets in the way which As is probably say. why our LAGC video took what is it a month and a half to come out <laughs> listen <laughs> I'm I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stick up for myself here. I uh, I do most of the editing and all the uploading, so you know I I'm busy as well. I work full time. I've got a uh, you know. He runs an illegal gambling den. I don't want to run an illegal gambling den. It's very much legal, <laughs> and I don't run it. <laughs> um, it's nothing quite. I'm I'm a chat entertainer. That's what I do. I shouldn't reveal that on here. You never know. Um, it's nothing seedy. We'll just say. Um, I just like to, I speak to I'm. I just speak to people. That's all I do. do you You're making it sound more seedy the more yeah. excuses you get. You're digging a hole. It's totally <laughs> legit. It's lovely. And if anyone who. Watching. No, it's That's okay. Right. We, we, you know. God damn. I'll say. Uh, I'm a full time mum, so I'm just like. Uh, at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> I. Yes, Lex. <laughs> <laughs> tired, just what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's part of the promise, we're, we're all we're all adults. We have jobs. I'm an engineer. I work 50 hours a week. That kind of Fuck thing. That. I'm an engineer. I mean, Man Manimal, I think, probably has the most free time, but he's still in college. And, you know, that kind of oh, thing is busy yeah. as it is. It's a <laughs> different kind history. of busy. But... Yeah. He's a fun busy. <laughs> Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so now, in college, you have some simultaneously the least free time and the most free time. I don't know how it mm. works, but it, it's how it is. I know. It's yeah. weird, isn't it? It's like, I feel like when I was at uni, I used to travel so much. Go see this person, go see that person, like, and do uni at the same time. But, oh, so. Study somehow. It's long time ago. But you have to go to this party on Friday night. That's non-negotiable yeah. Yeah. yeah like going out three times a week as well i remember yeah. like wednesday exactly. night friday night monday night i monday night. Over and over and over. Student nice that was i don't the have to be up i don't have to have i don't have class until 9 30 i can go out drinking tonight sure why not yeah it's a late one so to an end. like yeah. i used to be able to go out multiple times like consecutively and then like as this week's proven we went out and by 11 o'clock i was like i'm tired <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get some food and go home. I'm tired. That's the Let's main go. thing is the, the food. Just like, it's the food. Be by that's the holy grail. And eat. <laughs> at the end of, you're like, at the end of this all, if I survive another hour, I can go there and get a kebab. Or, or <laughs> we're going to be okay. We're going to get no, through this. My friend, no matter who you are, there's nothing better than drunk food. There yeah. really isn't. My friend, uh, my old flatmate, said, I know this is a really fat girl thing to say, but I actually look forward to the kebab at the end of the night. <laughs> like, best bit, the to bit. be fair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's like, it That's one of the things that made me really sad coming back from London, because we don't have kebabs over here. No. no. I had one in London. It was fantastic. <laughs> we had to trek around to try and find a legit, like, a genuine authentic like uk uh, we, takeaway we went by like London. four different kebab places and everyone was like no that's that's too sh that's too shifty we can't go to that one they were either a two up market they were either too classy to be a proper one I or they were too shifty do pizza. you come to london yeah you come to london well, and you want a kebab, and kebab that's no like that's just <laughs> yeah. no i don't want fish, fish and chips, chips and kebabs kebabs from them. <laughs> i mean you can't get them here man it's quintessential yeah you get drunk in london and have a kebab it's like if I was to go over to Kansas, uh, I'd want some corn. You know, that's the that's the only is that the I mean, authentic thing. Fried chicken. You get corn here. <laughs> but it's like that's what they're famous for, Kansas. Well, actually, we're famous for wheat oh, okay. and wheat byproducts. Oh, okay. Okay. So you wheat want to eat bread? Actually, well, I'm in Kansas Excuse City, you. so you'd want barbecue. barbecue I do want chicken. me some. I do love me some barbecue. I want that Kansas City barbecue sauce. See, that's the problem. Okay, we went to London and we went to Tesco, and there's a section for American stuff. That's yeah. complete bullshit. Because we didn't, what? we don't know what half. We don't know what half of it is. <laughs> we haven't seen it. Is no, it the wings? other thing is, there's American <laughs> stuff all throughout the store. There was a display of Coors Light, which is the most American like gas station thing you can imagine. Like you drove to a rural gas station with nothing for a hundred miles, there'd be a display of Coors Light right there. Yeah. 
but they had what they had something a bottle of Kansas barbecue sauce, which doesn't exist. That's not a thing. Really? Oh, no. really? Kansas barbecue. Stop lying there's, to me. No, me there's lie. Kansas City. Kansas City has a barbecue tradition, but Kansas itself doesn't. Well, that, it's sitting that's, in that's my fridge. Kansas like, City barbecue like. sauce. Because Kansas City is in two different states, so it's weird. Oh. Hmm. Well, so I live in Kansas City, Kansas, but there's also Kansas City, Missouri, which is much more famous. What? So what else? Is, so yeah, barbecue chicken wings is what I think is American and chicken wings. Burgers. Really, you don't have this? We have wings, they're just not as good as the American style, like you know, sure. buffalo wings. There was a, there was a chicken wing restaurant next to my apartment for months, and I didn't go there. And I tried to go there Friday night, and they apparently closed down. But the internet still says they're there, and apparently they had a wing that was so hot you needed to sign a waiver to get. <laughs> hot dogs! Hot dogs are American! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, but you don't want to come to America and eat a hot dog, come on. I would! You can get hot dogs in the UK. I wouldn't just get on a, fl on a plane, come there, eat a hot dog, and go, right, well, let's get back! Dream achieved. Got I mean... I'm sure I we could give you a good like. There's, you can't like go to a restaurant and order a hot dog unless you're ordering like the kids menu. Like, there's no like elevation of hot dogs. If you can buy a hot dog out of the freezer section back there, you can buy it here. In Japan, Same there's here. a hot dog cafe in Akihabara. <gasps> yeah. Oh, uh, Japan. Oh, well, okay. Japan's weird though, because they picked up a bunch of weird traditions from America when we basically took their country in the forties. When I first <laughs> went to Japan, I was really shocked by how American it was. Like, I was like, this is so strange. Like, especially all the family restaurants. So it's like, Bleh. but now I love them. Like, <laughs> Denny's and stuff. I was like, what is this food? Like, this is weird food. Even though it's it's not what they would serve in America, but. Oh, I'm sure. I mean, everything has its own, like, cultural taste, basically. Like, Chinese food, as we discovered, is different in every single country you go to. Because everyone yes, has different regional true. taste. That is true. Beautiful, and Italian beautiful food... Beautiful global society, including. Italian food is so weird as well. In, in Japan. Is it? Really? I can't it's like hot dogs imagine Italian inside Japan. pasta and cabbage oh. and... Some of it's normal, but... I mean, I guess, like, I can't say I've ever gone to eat, like, straight Italian food, except maybe once in my, or twice in my life. If you eat pasta... Usually Italian food's like spaghetti and meatballs or pizza, so... Exactly. That's that's Italian. Which is Lasagna. probably Italian. American, pretty American. It's not really true, but it's probably the most American viewpoint I could take on that. Lara's yeah, family's Italian, right. aren't they, Lara? Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty spot on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like... We have our own yeah. Italian, Scottish and Italian blend, but he's uh, he's absent for a while, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. going Perfect. to stop the stream and end the official podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. I went oh, in the oh, call oh, suddenly, oh. but in the stream. Actually, we got, we've drawn you <laughs> off topic, <laughs> which is our specialty. Yeah. No, I was we're really sorry. looking forward to it. We're quite well, this is why your shows are Lara. for like 45 minutes to an hour and ours go on for like two hours and then we cut them down. But me and Lara <laughs> drive, like we, we we have a good chat, but it's, I was looking forward to having some guests. Yeah, yes. it's been really fun. Yeah, it's been really fun. So tell us about to... more about your podcast. Give you some plugs. We are the Manga Rays Community Happy Hour. Woo woo woo. We talk about manga and anime and Happy hours as well. About <laughs> just ten percent oh, really? of the time. The rest is complete nonsense. Yeah. Um, I do listen. I do listen to you guys, and it's hilarious. It's <laughs> really funny. <laughs> I like. Yeah, I have to listen to it. You're all very. I have to listen boys. to it on. A, yeah, but I like that. Um, I I listen to it on my phone, but uh, through YouTube, and my phone battery is really shit. So yeah. I I get on the train, and I have to be on the train for about forty five minutes, and by the end of it, my my uh my phone dies. But it's because I have to listen to it like open. We do apologize for um, killing phones across the world. <laughs> something we've been known for. But uh, yeah, we literally every Wednesday we release a new episode. It's on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud, Podbean, Stitcher, mm -hmm. anywhere you can find podcasts basically. Um, yeah, it's manga, anime talk, uh, also a lot of writing. Not so much artist advice anymore because most of the people who come on aren't artists. The way it shook out is all the people who decided to really be become regulars of the podcast because it's open to everybody on the forum. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's nice. It's just that a lot a lot of us became regulars just because we wanted to be on. We all happen to be writers, more or less. Do it. That's great. Yeah, yeah, but like we went, we've been on, we've been doing this for about two years now, and the right. first, the first, I don't know, what was it, eight months or so maybe before we decided to go weekly, we just did it whenever we, you know, or had an episode ready or whatever. First year, pretty sporadic. Uh, first year we went just when as and when because the original plan was going to be, uh, we were going to do it for the entire community and it would be different people every week totally different topics so it could be like a bunch of artists one week a bunch of people who were into fan fiction uh attack on titan fans can you do a fan fiction episode can i be on it sorry yeah definitely (laughs) absolutely we definitely would we've done a few we've done more than one crossover episode at this point because let's see did you guys see my amada lagc Yes. Yeah, because you, yeah, yeah, you interviewed him. Yeah. We interviewed them on the podcast once. Yeah, and... ask them for an interview. They'll come on the podcast. They're coming on <laughs> in May at the end of May. Oh, awesome! Oh, nice. Yeah. Is it Nigel so, or both of them? I can't tell. It's just on Twitter. <laughs> ah, fair enough. Yeah. Um, we had Nigel. And Hopefully, both. Really, I think really both cool. of them because he said him and his partner. So it would be ah, nice okay, that'd be cool. Them. Yeah, yeah I apologize for us being fairly confusing on Twitter because, like. We all have the password, so I'm constantly <laughs> on Twitter. Right, like, don't I don't it, use my own personal Twitter at all. I'm just like, hey, listen, who's there? <laughs> yeah. I don't have, because I never used Twitter up until this point. This is why our account's pretty shite, because I never use Twitter, so I never think to log on to use it. Um, yeah. But yeah, we all just share the password, so sometimes yeah, there'll be stuff. I don't have my own Twitter account, I just use that, and I only have access yeah. to it. I mean, Lara's allowed, but I just use it quite a lot. Yeah. yeah, I have that. Everyone has the password. I think just me and Matt use it. I think one day Lego did, Mordecai did, and okay. he just liked a lot of fan servicey What's things, and then just went no, off. Let's <laughs> let's be let's be frank here. His name his name in real life is Mordecai, but his name his true name is Lego. Yeah, and I still call him Lego in real life. Is there He's one uh. Called Xerxes? No. Yes. yes. Yeah. What was Who it? Who's that? That's. That's Does Lego. That's met? his Twitter handle. Oh, What's his Twitter handle? Xerxes. Oh yeah, Xerxes. That's. His Twitter. I, that I don't know why he didn't make it Lego. I mean, okay, I understand why he didn't make it Lego because he hates the nickname. <laughs> it's it's my fault actually. He showed up on the forum in like 2009. And I said he's like, my name's Lego Maestro. Please call me Maestro. And I said I'm gonna call you Lego instead. <laughs> and it stuck. Yes. <laughs> He's uh yeah he's from Malawi originally um currently residing in Germany and he has a unique view of anime and manga um just a unique he, view on life uh he's and he's amazing great. he's great on your podcast his accent is great as well um, we, we love we love him. he's a great guy he's legitimately one of my best friends in the world oh, yeah just can't hate the guy but you can hate the guy you know <laughs> he has um a child I guess the a childlike wonder. A cha- yeah, he has whimsy about him. Yeah, we love like he, he's constantly learning new facts about the world, which are commonly known. <laughs> like, my my full name is Matthew, right? Pretty simple, Matthew, short into Matt. Yeah, had no idea. What? That's still, when I think uh, I called you Matthew once, and he was like, "No, no way." <laughs> what? And like, just that's it. He was gone for the rest of it. Um, he did basically. Also, when he first moved to Germany, he's like, guys, I didn't know there were so many white people in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, surprisingly, the uh, people in a Northeast African nation, uh, the, the amount of black people there. It's not even Northeast, more. is it? It's more it's like... Northeast, or is it East? I don't know. It's Africa's more like... A, it's East, but it's more like Central to South. Oh. Oh, well. Is it? I don't know. Someone get a map. Mm, I'm looking it up right now. <laughs> Sure. I, I would trust north. you more than me, Matt. Oh god. I uh I just don't really know. I'm really bad at geography. Uh uh Google's taking its time. Yeah, because it's down it's down next to Mozambique in south of Tanzania. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Southeastern. Oh, south-east. okay. Well I got the east part, so I got the the <laughs> last bit right. Ooh. What is this? Mm-hmm. Or just, yeah, depends what you define as Central Africa. I guess I don't know what they say. Can't uh, talk is like in America, the Midwest is like only a quarter of the way across the nation, so it's complete nonsense. 
America's weird. I don't know. There it's we are. So aren't big. We? Like, it's crazy big. Like, I was having a conversation with my friend Madison, and she was saying, yeah, like, a three hour drive is, like, not that far. And for oh, us, no, we have like, that. We have that discussion a couple times. Because uh, a couple years ago, I did an internship in Omaha, Nebraska, hmm. which is like six hours from where I was living, which was Manhattan, Kansas, where I was going to college at. And we we're talking about it, and Simon's like, that's so long. And I'm six like, hours for a long drive. drive. That that is like half an hour? Back when I was growing up, it took half an hour to go get groceries. That's insane. Six hour that's drive crazy. is not like a regular. How much of your life? How can you work? I mean, in a day. America, we're like, oh, we could be there in 16 hours if we don't sleep. Great, let's do it. <laughs> oh, my God, that's crazy. Like, I I was thinking at going to the Lake District for a holiday, and I saw how long the drive was. It's like five and a half hours. I was like, nope, too far. Yeah, that's <laughs> nothing. Knocked a it out in four hour <laughs> drive. I had, I had a bit of a funny little realization how big America is. Last year, I went to Washington, D.C., right? Um, but I wanted to take another trip to um, San Francisco. Oh, no. And I thought, <laughs> right, no joke, I thought this would be a small internal flight. You know, in England, you can go to France, you can hop on a cheap flight, go to France for like 50 quid, takes an hour and a half, right? Then, yeah, and you're there, fine, whatever. And then so to find out that they're like 500 pounds and like three to four hours to fly to that sort of place. Right. I would just be like, That's yeah, insane. Jesus. 500 course, pounds you know, oh, to go from crazy. North Carolina, not from Washington, actually, from North Carolina to, South, uh, to San Francisco. That's mm. a whole way across the country. Yeah. I mean, it took us 100 years to cover this bitch. You know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, I have to end Okay. Oh, oh God, no. are we still going? Yeah. I'm still going. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Sorry. <laughs> so thank Lux. you so much for being on mm-hmm. our podcast. That's yeah. a good time. It's Making our evening. It's been really it nice. Um, you guys so, have to return the favor, though. You'd have to come at some point. We're going to have to have you guys on. Yes, definitely. A happy as well. Please. We'd yes. <laughs> Nowhere near as funny as you guys, so yeah, but I, I'm definitely up for that. All right, so everyone say bye bye to the stream. And bye, bye, stream. Are we logging off as well, Lex?